So, um, hello again, it's me, Julian, and this is the final video in our series. And on this video, we're going to be talking about Eco Design 2022 um, and what it means for stoves and uh, yeah, wood burning in general. So, um, you'll see that Carl's uh, run quite a few tests on this stove uh, with burning a couple of. Uh, different types of fuel and hopefully you will also have seen an overnight test that we did and noticed the difference between the two stoves. The, the current standard of stove that we have in the other room, um, which is a fantastic stove from Charnwood, but then the, um, the latest version of the stoves um, that uh, will, now, will be compliant with the regulations which will um, come into force in 2022. So what does it mean for South Africa um, and for us generally as um, wood Wood, um, wood burner users. So uh, first of all, those regulations uh, will dictate that every stove that's manufactured in Europe, um, including the UK, um, regardless of Brexit, um, will have to be compliant with these regulations. And the regulations are all about making the stoves not only efficient, but particularly making them cleaner in their emissions into the atmosphere. Now the emissions come into various different categories. Um, the, the stoves give off uh, noxious gases like carbon monoxide, um, but they also give off particulates, soot, dust, um, and, and debris and the like that um, affect our, um, our, our environment. Um, some of the gases that are given off um, create smog. Um, here in Cape Town, uh, it's a regular sight um, over Cape Town as you drive in to see a layer of smog. Now, of course, most of that smog is caused by industry. However, um, this new generation of stoves will reduce dramatically the amount of pollutants that are going into the atmosphere and creating issues like that. And if you don't think that um, air pollution is a problem in South Africa, it's worth noting that according to the World Bank report that was conducted in 2016, you can Google it, 20,000 South Africans per annum die directly as a result of air pollution. So that's a big number. Um, in fact, it's a dramatically big number. A lot of that is as a result of people living in poorer areas next to industrial um, industrial areas. But also, if you read the article, you'll see that uh, it also um, refers to poor heating appliances within homes. Um, so um, it really does matter. Um, unfortunately, it'll be some time before we can have an appliance like this in every home in South Africa. But once the um, legislation gains momentum, um, there will be fewer and fewer poorer quality um, wood burning appliances uh, available in the market and um, they, they may become more affordable as well over the course of time. So it certainly be a good, uh, a good target to aim for to have um, South African homes using clean wood burning appliances, especially because in South Africa um, wood is the fuel of choice. It's also sustainable fuel. Um, so really it is always going to be a big part of um, heating homes in South Africa. Just to give you some um, uh, brief stats on these regulations the, uh, and how they compare with the stoves that Charmwood are producing, um, the minimum requirement on efficiency of the stove, and that means that when we talk about efficiency, when you talk about your stove having a percentage of 75%, for example, um, a 75% efficient stove means that 75% of your fuel, so in other words, 75% of this log was converted and transferred as heat into the room by the fireplace. 25% of the, of, of the potential energy in the log was lost at the flue, pipe has lost heat or lost as, um, as waste material in the stove. That's what efficiency means. The current and uh, the future standards for efficiency will remain at 75% efficiency for a stove. Now that's quite achievable by, by many um, stove manufacturers, but it's not achievable by many stove manufacturers whilst meeting the other requirements of the new regulations. So as an example, this um, Sky 5 actually is 85% efficient. So it's dramatically uh, better than the uh, re requirements of the new regulations. But when it comes to particulates, the dust and the dirt that goes into the atmosphere, the new regulations will require that no more than 40 milligrams per cubic meter of material going up the chimney is particulates. Okay, this stove produces nine milligrams per cubic meter, less than a quarter 
of the um, standard that's going to have to be achieved in 2022. So it's already way ahead in terms of uh, those requirements. Uh, carbon monoxide, which is a noxious, noxious gas, it's invisible, you can't smell it. Um, it's the cause of a lot of deaths in, um, in, in, in homes with poor um, either chimneys or poor, um, or poor stoves. Um, the requirement in the new regulations is that no more than 0.12 milligrams per meter cubed is carbon monoxide. Our stove here and the range from Chalmers that eat that meet the requirements is 0.09 milligrams per meter cubed. So 25% uh, less than the requirements that will be um, dictated in 2022. Nitrogen oxides um, produce or combine to um, produce smog and acid rain, as we mentioned earlier. The new requirements require that no more than 200 milligrams per meter cube of nitrogen oxide is produced into the atmosphere. Our stove here produces less than half that, 91.6 milligrams. And then other organic gaseous carbon, 120 milligrams per meter cubed is the uh, requirement for the new regs, and this produces less than half again, 56 milligrams per meter cubed. So in short, this these stoves are already way ahead of the requirements that are coming in in 2022. And the really good news is that they're already available here in South Africa. Um, the product that we were testing in the other room, our Code 2, is available in the blue version, which is the Eco 2022 uh, ready version of that product. This product comes only in an Eco 2022 um, version. So these products are available here in South Africa. Architects, designers, environmentally focused builders and property developers, and even homeowners who value um, or, or, or have a responsible view towards what we do to the environment, please give consideration to seeking out EcoDesign 2022 stoves in favor of uh, other quite reasonable or decent um, European products. And even at some point, even products coming from the Far East will be required to meet this, uh, this expectation if they want to trade in Europe, which is obviously by far a much bigger, bigger market than South Africa. So eventually we're going to see Eco Design 2022 stoves all over the place. Likelihood is that isn't realistically going to happen till the mid 2020s. Um, but think seriously about purchasing one now. Um, and what I would also like to mention is that these, these stoves are they sit price wise in the same sort of bracket as decent quality European product. So uh, if you're uh, accustomed to brands such as Morso, Scan, Yotel, uh, and others, these products sit in a similar sort of price bracket to those to those products. So we'd certainly like to encourage you to consider them as an option. Um, and if you want any more information on EcoDesign 2022 and related issues, uh, please follow the links that are um, on the video um, or noted in the in the captions below and we'll you'll be able to find more information on it but thanks for watching our series of videos today we hope it was interesting and informative and useful to you and um, we'll look forward to publishing more videos in the future thanks very much cheers